Last month, the Samsung lab revealed its lineup of artificial humans that actually look like actual people. Now, this has led to debate over whether we should put a human face on artificial intelligence. Our Oh Soo Young explains. There was a mix of disgust and fascination when Samsung Star Lab revealed what it called an artificial human last month. Its lineup of new chatbot avatars look in every inch a living, breathing person that can show human emotions and intelligence. Star Labs has said they're nothing like smart voice assistants. They are actual beings in their own right, and their uncannily human features provide immersive support for customers. But these unorthodox personalities have also caused some unease and questions on whether they're necessary. Uh, a movie like uh, Beowulf or um, some other movie where they used humanoid, human-like characters, but uh, you could see that they were almost dead in their eyes, and it sort of gave a zombie feeling. And even though mathematically speaking, the two appearances are very close together, reality and the simulated appearance, uh, we are tuned to see very subtle changes. And so um, this falls into what's known as an uncanny valley. Yeah. However, some scientists believe virtual agents who look like humans can help make services more interactive and engaging, especially in healthcare and counseling. Carnegie Mellon's Louis Philip Morenzi found them helpful in diagnosing mental conditions. People who believe that there is a human behind were a lot more aware of their behavior. In fact, they showed less sign of sadness. Their emotions were different. And so that's an example when uh, using an automatic system, a virtual human, may be beneficial, where the person may be more willing to open up uh, to this uh, virtual interviewer. But in any case, experts warn caution is needed before further expanding the use of virtual beings. The thing to bear in mind is what the psychology behind that could be, right? And so really understanding the ethical nature of building something like that, the psychological effect, and all of this uh, are done in sort of different fields. Bringing together people from these areas together is the way to go forward in this kind of applications. Artificial humans are not dead or alive, and it's hard to draw the line on how real they need to be in our lives and how we should interact with them. Oh Young, Arirang News, Pittsburgh.